Thanks for joining here. We have a quick update on the Lakeside deal. We are excited to close this one out here at the end of the month. So it is rapidly approaching. And we just wanted to go through some of the key points we found through the due diligence and the appraisal process. So the appraisal, uh, we got everything back there. All checks out well. Yeah, right. and even the value came back a little bit higher than um, our, our basis. So everything checked out great. Yeah, so we're excited about where that is at right now. And a couple things we did learn uh, from that appraisal and going into it. First is just the strength of the tenants that we have in place. So we have three main tenants that are here. LabCorp, which is one of our big tenants that we have in, in multiple other locations. Yeah, I think this is our fifth property to have LabCorp in there. And LabCorp is a publicly traded company and um, they, they, they perform very well. Yes, we've been happy uh, with them as a tenant. And the other one we have is the city of Tucker. They're the second largest tenant that is in there. Uh, so they are uh, a strong tenant to have in place. I mean, it's a government government entity. We've done pretty well with those. We're happy to have them. And the largest tenant is, is a nonprofit. However, going through their financials and the due diligence there, they've got over $100 million of liquid cash on their balance sheet. So they are a strong uh, tenant that is in place. And although they are the largest one, they have plenty of cash to cover their rent. It's a small portion of their annual budget. Yeah, I mean, their, their annual rent payment is under a million dollars a year, so they have enough to float them for our hold period. <laughs> yes, yes. So, so we're excited to find out about all that details as we're going through the due diligence process. The other thing we learned uh, in the appraisal, and, and one of the things that's been happening in the market that we've talked about is kind of this departure of single-story assets and multi-story assets. So, yeah, yeah, so if you think about um, your, when you traditionally think about office, you think of a downtown high-rise that lots of, story, lots of stories, you know, 20, 30 stories tall with a parking deck that you park and walk into a lobby and go upstairs. That is not what we're buying. That's not what this asset is. And that's, that's really not part of the market of what we try to compare to. So that, but generally speaking, in, in Atlanta, um, that market is about 85, 87% occupied. When we look at single story office uh, th throughout Atlanta, that market is more like eight, seven to eight percent vacant or 92 to 93% occupied. And specifically in the North Lake market, what we've seen where this property is, it's 95% occupied. So we were, we were pleasantly, uh, we, we, we were pleasantly surprised to see that the appraisal validated all of our research and data and it really supported, you know, the, the purchase. Right, yeah, and I mean, the flex, you know, this is partial got office, this is partial got flex that we're converting to. Flex is, you know, the best performing right now with almost no vacancy. Correct. That's in there. And even the office that we do have, single story in the suburban, more infill locations that are suburban, is performing exceptionally well. And our appraisal just backs up uh, the thesis and the strategy that we've been going through on these single story buildings. So last part is on the, just on the debt front, you know, we are starting with about 50% leverage on the overall assets. So we have a loan of, of right around $12 million and it allows us to draw it up to $14 million. We plan to use that $2 million of space that we have there to convert any vacant office that, that does come up or any of the vacant space that's quasi flex, we can turn that into full, just a full flex space and then get the higher rents in that market. So that's what our loan is looking like now. So overall, we're excited about those three factors. We are closing here at the end of the month. So we're excited about that one. And please let us know if you have any other questions on this one as we approach our close date. So thanks everyone. For more tips on operating and investing in real estate, please check us out at greenleafmanagement.com or find us on YouTube and Spotify.